Good morning, everyone. <laughs> this is Lori Marie, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. Some of you have been asking to see Hudson, and here's Mr. Hudson. We just got back from a walk, so that was very nice, right? You are in for quite a treat today. Uh, <laughs> I got up very early, and I was playing in the studio while Handsome Hubby was sleeping. So you all know, though, y'all, y'all know that it's going to be a quiet video. So uh, I will add some words in uh, once in a while, but really you're just going to watch. Uh, we create a spirit doll today. And for me, the spirit doll will never be done. So as I find things on, that are interesting on a walk, I will sew them on or I will tie them on. When I find fun scraps, I will tie them on. Um, so she will constantly just grow and develop uh, her spirit as we grow and develop our spirit. So uh, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you to my Patreon subscribers for the support. Uh, you know that you are making this possible. I don't have to get out, go out and get another job. I can actually stay home and make videos. So uh, $1, $2, $5, Anything you can contribute to the village, you know that I appreciate it. $10 tier, you get some, uh, some goodies, some exclusive videos, and some templates, and some focal points. So for that, I thank you. We all thank you, because you make this possible. So, all right, see you on the table. So this is your project for today, and tomorrow, and perhaps even the next day. I took a few sticks and tied them together. I did make the center of her, the spirit stick, all the way up from top to bottom. Uh, fabric wound up just like we did the spirit stick and the boho beads. Uh, she has a set of arms that are the same. They are wrapped in fabric, fabric scraps. Then I started adding dangles and boho beads. and um, I made her face out of Sculpey. And her hair is just the strings that are left over from the fabric projects. I backed this with some uh, bottle caps. I needed to raise her head up, so I put a matchbox uh, behind her head with some burnt matches there. I thought that was kind of fun. So, yeah, sky's the limit with this one, gang. Just go for it and enjoy and have fun and create your spirit doll whatever that means to you. She is beautiful. Beautiful. All right, while I was in New Zealand, uh, somebody, somebody suggested that we do a spirit doll. So I got some Sculpey, Super Sculpey, beige color. Ta-da! And I got a mold, a little face mold. So we are going to see how we do in this. And this is an oven bake Sculpey. You have to bake it about 15 minutes at a 275 oven. It says to massage this until it's soft. So here's one face I made. I'm just going to push some Sculpey down in that mold push it down the best I can and then when you pop it out of the mold try not to disturb it as it comes out oh, pretty good just going to go in with the palette knife, trim off the edge. Ta da! They're ready to bake. Alright, I have never really worked with Sculpey like this, so this is going to be interesting. 
because I do want to paint the faces with a couple different layers of paint and I don't know how the acrylic paint will stick to the Sculpey but we're going to find out. So I have some Dilutions Fresh Lime Paint. Yeah, better coverage with that. And let that dry. Alright, I used the Fresh Lime and this is Vibrant Turquoise. So we're just going to put some of this on her face with my fingers, which is always way fun. And let that dry. Now I grabbed pomegranate seed. These were gifted to me quite a while ago, actually. I've never used them. Oh, this one's a little drier. That's all right. So does she need dark eyes? Maybe a little bit. How about that? All right, we have the beginning done for our Spirit Doll. So it's dark o'clock here in Vallejo, California. Handsome hubby is sleeping. I am twisting fabric uh, and gluing it down the stick, adding ribbons. Sky's the limit here. I just used frayed uh, fabric strips and just wound them down the, the stick using the hot glue gun to adhere them in place. Uh, use as much fabric as you'd like, as much ribbon as you'd like to get the look that, uh, that you're after. So I found some little dots and I put them on her face and I glued a bunch of the fuzzy fabric remnants strings <laughs> things like that on her head for her hair little piece of ribbon going to add, add some more embellishment to the, the body, the spirit body of my spirit doll. Now I'm going to bring in the um, stick that I want to use for the arms. And I am going to go through the same process that I went through to create the spirit body. These are the spirit arms, just some frayed fabric, 
twist, wrap, and glue. And you can just keep working down the stick, add as much fabric as you would like. Uh, go back, add more if you want. And then in the same way, you're gonna add ribbon. Just hot glue gun, wrap that ribbon around. And just continue on until your heart is content, until your spirit is content. Then I took a wire and I just wired the three center pieces together. And then I wired the arm pieces together. I love this branch that has the little extra branch on it. Um, I put a, a bird on it. You probably saw that at the beginning of the video. I just love that. So yeah, just wrap, uh, wire the three arms together, the three arm sticks. And then bring the body together with the arms. And then I just crisscrossed the wire to hold them together. And just do that until it feels nice and sturdy. Now what I did is I just folded a piece of fabric in half and I cut the neck hole in it. And then I just slipped that over the top of the where the head is going to be on the spirit doll. So it just kind of created a tunic.
and then repeat that same technique with as many pieces of fabric as you want, creating kind of a layered look in the tunic. And then when you're content with all the layers of the tunic, just take a scrap and or a ribbon and tie it around the waist of your spirit doll to hold the tunic in place. I created a little crisscross across her chest, but of course that's artist's choice. I found a butterfly, hot glue gun that on her chest, transformation. And then I just stuck that in place with the hot glue gun. And the rest really is you embellishing with what you have, uh, what you're drawn to, your inventory, what you find on a walk. Uh, these are boho beads that I'm tying on a ribbon that I'm going to tie around her waist. Now I'm bringing in some embroidery floss with a needle and I'm just sewing things on her tunic. I'm just embellishing her outfit. Time to bring in her headdress. Hot glue gun on that nice feathery thing. Put her face on there. Now when I put her face back on the spirit doll, it sat back a little bit too far. So I'm going to take this empty matchbox and build it up so that it brings her face forward. And I'm going to disguise the sides of the matchbox uh, with some of the burnt matches that came out of this box. Kind of fun. So next I glued her face on with hot glue onto that match box. Uh, the, the depth was correct, but uh, the fact that you could see the match box bothered me, so we need to, that's our next challenge is to cover that up. Now any sane person would wait until they could talk to create something on the table, but yeah, not even going to go there. <laughs> so Handsome Hubby is awake. He's actually off doing a side job this morning, 
And I have had fun. I took her face off because I want to uh, put some bottle caps around her face on the back side of her face so you don't see the, the matchbox. But I needed the matchbox to lift her face forward. All right, I put the bottle caps, crushed rusty bottle caps there. Now I can put her back on there and she looks much better now. Good job, girly. Way to wait. So I have this little bottle that I'm going to use and I'm just going to cut some strips of old book pages. All right, we are going to call her done for this moment. Uh, we could spend hours and hours, and I probably will spend hours uh, adding goodies to her. Um, here's her beautiful face. I ended up with white dots on there. I put the bird on the stick that was uh, sticking up. She has a beautiful feather headdress. This is a lot of fabric scraps. Here's a little paint tube here, a little bottle full of uh, words, boho beads, um, little sayings. This says play, muse, little sayings like that. She has a gorgeous brooch on. There's quite a few boho beads on here. You can't really see them. A lot of frayed fabric just added on. So this is your spirit doll. So when you find things that you are spiritually moved by, uh, please add them to your doll. Uh, I want to be improbable and afraid of nothing as if I had wings. In every walk with nature, one receives far more than they seek. So just add and play and add and play and add. So spirit doll, love her. Go create, go play. Go have fun.